एवरीवन अ वॉर्म वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू यू आर वाचिंग मधुज फूड फन हेल्थ एंड इन टूडेज स्पेशल एपिसोड आई एम बैक विद वन मोर डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन दैट इज डेमो ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोडक्ट व्हिच इज सिटिंग राइट बिसाइड मी इट इज अमेरिकन माइक्रोनिक वेट एंड ड्राई वैक्यूम क्लीनर yes i am going to give a detailed review of this particular product to you and will also share with you uh, the uses how to use it and maybe we can click some of the uses which are basically not a part of the manual let's see let's unbox first and see what is inside on opening the box you find the warranty on top which is for 1 year extended up to 6 months in case you scan the qr code and send it to them followed by the instruction manual which is quite a basic one uh, the details are more descriptive in a demo like what i am going to provide you these are the parts these are the wheels bigger ones which come on the side which i am going to show you later and the hose pipe this is the hose pipe how it is to be connected i am going to show you later in the video these are the connecting rods extension rods the cleaning brush and some wet cleaning parts everything i am going to show you in the video let's take it out now it is quite heavy I won't say it is a lighter one that is why it has got the wheels let's open it easy to open just push it up and i was finding that the parts were a little less and uh, this is why they were less because they were inside the tub and this is the dust bag dust collecting bag So let's connect now let's start with the wheels so that it becomes easy for us to handle the tub these are again some attachments different sort of attachments for sleek ones sleek dusting cleaning and uh, brushes of different sizes now the tub this is the steel tub which is 21 liter capacity yes it can collect up to 21 liters why i am saying little liters is because it is wet cleaning also so you can collect the liquids also and this is the dust bag i have opened it from the back just follow the way i am showing it in the video when you have to clean it you have to open now i am sealing it back and this is the duct which needs to be connected inside the tub these are the side wheels the bigger ones have to come on the side very easy to attach no issues at all see it's moving similarly on the other side these are the side wheels and now we are going to flip it over at the bottom there are two holes the small wheels we are going to be fitted here just like it just have to push it nothing else so now the handling becomes easy so now i don't need the table let me push back the table yeah <laughs> becomes easy of course the tub portion is very light and this is the filter this is the hepa filter they call it a hepa filter the dry uh, vacuum cleaning as also the wet vacuum cleaning cannot be done without this hepa filter this is as per the manual it is detachable to clean it and put it back how it is to be cleaned that also i am going to show you later in the video Let's place the top cover on the tub and let's lock the machine by locking the latches on both the sides as I am showing in the video proper place is provided let's plug in so very long very long cord 
about 12 to 13 feet and this is the suction end and this is the blower end. Blower end is on the top cover and suction is on the steel tub part. So let's start with the suction end. You have to press and then put it inside. Once you put it inside it will be sealed till you press it back and take it out. Just watch as I am doing in the video. And the suction, suction can be controlled. It's 1600 watt machine so it is very strong. Let's put it on. There is a small red switch on the top of the cover. Just put it on and you can see the suction. I am putting it on hand but you please don't do it. It is not allowed as per manual. So a little show off and the attachments. This is the brush which has got this uh, double function means in case you put it down the brush is going to come out to put it up the brush will go inside. This is the sleek nozzle, the brush, I mean different things you need it for different things to clean. Now these are the extensions, extension rods. just showing how it moves on the floor so i'm going to clean my door mat which is the dirtiest part because the shoes land on it you know now mumbai culture we all take off our outside shoes on the mats when we enter the house so now the test i am going to clean the fan you must have seen uh, the carpet cleaning uh, the sofa cleaning but you might not have seen the fan cleaning with it so there is a smart trick for this just hold the fan with a rubber mop yes you might be having a rubber mop in house just hold it with that so that the fan doesn't move and then you run the vacuum cleaner i have put the round brush to clean the lower bottom side of the fan and now the upper portion for which i am using the carpet brush but the carpet brush with bristles on means I have taken out the bristles the brush part so that it is cleaned properly and the um, brush moves smoothly on the surface of the fan just to show you the amount of dust hope my camera is catching to show you this look at this And a very brief demo for this sleek nozzle. So now let's try the blower end. Taking it out from the suction end and putting it on the blower side the same way we put it on that side. Right? So there are areas where your hand does not reach and in case you are going for vacuum cleaning suction in your hand is really going to be very tired so this way you can blow off the dust and once it comes down you can clean it with the suction in isn't it a good idea i always do it like this blower is always my all-time favorite it's easy to operate now i'm going to show you a beautiful trick which you must not have seen in any of the demos nor you are going to find in any manuals see it's a rainy season and what happens when you come back from work your shoes are wet your bags are wet your clothes are wet clothes so okay you will dry up you can wash but what will you do with the shoes you have to wear it the next day again supposing so use this blower and the hot air is going to blow just hold your shoe with the feet and run the blower end and your shoes are going to dry up yes it will not be fully dried you can say up to 90 percent and then you can put it in open area under the fan you can see my nerves moving don't dare to do it <laughs> so this is how i dry my things during the monsoon weather now let's check out the wet 
cleaning options. So this is the attachment for wet cleaning and it has got uh, two particular type of attachments basically which can be replaced in one particular uh, this thing only. So you can take it out. This is sort of brush bristles and this is rubber mops sort of. So in case you want it uh, like uh, we clean the bathrooms with the rubber mops. So this will be uh, very effective which I am going I am uh, placing it now. Just place it properly and tuck it from the corners. And similarly now I will open the cover and what is to be done is the only thing which is to be done in this is that we have to remove this dust bag. When we are going for wet cleaning, we are re going to remove this dust bag, obviously, otherwise it will go wet. The rest of the things, this uh, filter is definitely going to be there in our wet cleaning. You don't have to remove it. Whether it is a wet cleaning or whether it is a dry vacuum cleaning, in both the options, this particular filter has to be inserted. Let's lock it back. And now I have filled the bucket with water and I am going to suck it all. See within a few seconds and my bucket is in my hand. <laughs> it has got stuck. One more test for it. Uh, what I am doing is it is basically tea water, black tea and black tea I am spilling it over the floor. Uh, my question was that whether okay it will suck it but whether it will leave the stains on my tiles or not. So look at this. Well, well, well. So you can see it that it has absolutely cleaned it and even the floor is dried. It is not even wet. So done. But the show is not yet over. Now the thing is that all my pipes are wet now and how to clean it. The filter is wet. The tub is filled with water. So what to do? So I have removed the filter as I said it can be easily removed. So removing the filter and throwing away all the water and mess collected in the tub. Cleaning it with clean water. You can even wash it with a little soapy water and clean it. So the tub becomes clean but it is wet. The filter it has been cleaned but it is wet. Filter, there is a, a clean, clear instruction in the manual that you cannot use any brush or anything to clean it. You just have to use the running tap to clean it. Now, one more question was striking my mind. In case I immediately need it again for some dry cleaning, what will I do? And this is what I tried and it clicked. What I am doing is that you know that the blower end of this particular machine is in the cover. So I am running the blower end to dry up all my attachments and the tub. I just wiped off the extra water inside the tub and then I am running this dryer means the blower end to dry up all the attachment and it took uh, just a few minutes and it's done so now putting back everything like all the attachments which can be uh, kept inside just put it back so that you can save your space coil up the cord you can place it at the back at the handles place So friends, I have given you a detailed demo of American Micronic wet and dry vacuum cleaner which has got a blower option also. 
now it is up to you to decide in case you are looking forward to buy it this is available on amazon as of now for rupees 8686 with an mrp of rupees 11850 this is in indian rupees hope you liked it in case you like it just give it a thumbs up so that i know that you people are actually enjoying my demos bye take care